Okay, YouTube. This is a 20 inch chopper build from a 24 inch frame. 26 inch frame will work. It's an old Huffy frame. People call that a unisex bike. Some people just say it's a girl's bike because the bar was never straight. Well, this is how we do this. I have a long version. I don't know if I'll post it. What you do is we cut out this comes off, this comes off, we cut out about this much, what you do is you go up here about an inch and you'll find the shape of this where it curves in, find that, grind it, then take your cutter wheel and cut off the piece, okay, then clean all this up, leave the metal on the inside, if you look down there and the metal of this pipe you spun there is still there, because you'll be squeezing these in a vise. Make sure you keep it centered straight. Okay. Grab this piece. Also, on a 24 inch frame, you have to remove this. Because you see where it's set before. 26 inch, you can get away with leaving it on there. Because this will be longer. But there's still plenty of room. What you do is when you get this all cleaned up and get this ready, you get your pipe on here before you squeeze it. And you make sure to find your measurement what you need to cut off. Like I said, I cut this much off. And there you go. You heat it up here. I have a jig built here, but I have it down with the sprocket pieces on it in here, which I showed in another video. You heat it up, and you're going to be bending the frame back. I go about 55 degrees. You'll be heating it. You'll be bending this frame back. And that's where you get this measurement. I like the 24 inch frame because it's a little bit smaller. 26 kind of looks awkward. Now on the forks will come around here. This is how I measure to make my forks. I like these forks better. Those tapered ones are harder to build. Because you're going up here and you're trying to find a piece of pipe to fit and you're cutting it and it just, I don't really like doing it. I do it for some, some of them that make it look little more different. This is how I find this measurement. We're on top of the axle here. Sorry about the camera not focusing. It ain't gonna work on tail macro. It's nine and a half. I'm gonna go ten, maybe a little more. That means I have to add ten inches of this when this piece is put on. There's difference of these bottom dropout parts. Some of them don't go over the bottom of the pipe. I kind of like the ones that go over the bottom of the pipe because they're just easier for me to put on. And that's how I do that. So I'll be adding 10 inches to this because if you have to adjust your chain down here, that's going to hire the back of the bike. I'd rather have it setting up like this than down. Well, it's people's own preference if you want it set down. You can do that. This is how I did, made this on my jig. This was kind of thrown together, crappy welds. You got a bowl here to adjust this up and down. So this plate goes up and down, one to tighten it. I clamp it on here, get it somewhat centered, leveled. This is not a level, this is just your angle gauge. But if you put this up here, it'd be 55 degrees. That's what I like, what they call the rake. I like it 55 degrees. If you get this out too far, you get this out too far, then your forks get too long, then it's not going to be that fun to ride or easy to ride. Because you want a kid to be able to ride it. On an old chopper bike, hey, there's one starting up. On chopper bikes, learn to ride them somewhere where you're not out in public. You're going to fall off, you're going to crash trying to turn. Don't get them on the street and just go down through traffic. You have to learn to ride a chopper bike if you've never rode one. As old as I am, I still can fall off one if I'm not careful or wreck it. Need a little more panning around it so you can hear the Harley noise in the back. My neighbor's got one of the nicest sounding bikes around here. They don't pop and miss and sputter. different views here. I hope everybody can figure this out.
I dried up about an inch till you find it, it'll start curving. It'll be a little peaky point in there. Once you find it, then you can hack it off. You can measure and hack that off. Clean it up, leave the metal on the inside. Bend it up, readjust your piece. It's a cheapy, cheapy bike. I don't get too much out of these. Sometimes they go with wheels, sometimes they don't. But it's a cheapy little bike. I mean, it's fun. I mean, if any kid would have fun riding us. Back in my day, they would. We were too poor to make this stuff. Enough of that video, or this one's going to get too long. Okay, this is how I make my forks. I cut these off, clean them up, which is not easy to do. You have to take a cutter blade down in here on the welds. Go very lightly. So you can rock and break them off. I take a flapper disc and clean it up. So you really can't tell where they were welded. You have to do that very carefully. If you have another set, I have ruined a set of forks to get a good set. So I can just grind it off and save this. But I couldn't find another set, so I had to take these off real carefully. So these are only going to go an inch. I've got a little jig made here. This ain't perfect science. But they'll be eyeballed. Then I'll show a short clip when I put the wheel on before I braze those pieces on. I actually put the wheel on there. But this had to pound in there a little bit. These are going to be sweat braze. That means they'll be upside down once they're tacked. Then I will be heating this and the brazing will suck in there like when you see someone solder a copper water pipe. But just a little improvised jig that I built. Something simple. Just flat piece of metal. This goes across. I'll check to make sure this is even across here because it could be up and down. Okay. So I'll make sure this is all even. I'll tack it. Okay, back to This extra pipe, that's what length they were. Flat braid, that's what I call it. It's like soldering. They look pretty straight, too. They need to be pulled out maybe a little bit, but they're straight the other way. This fits on the end of the pipe, this notch, so give me an approximate, so give me an approximate of how to make that. You get the idea. If I haven't mentioned it earlier, I'll put this in here real quick. I like 55 degrees. When I bend that back, it'll be 55 degrees. Plus, these forks are factory bent. I really don't like that when they're made that way. You would think they wouldn't be that strong. Depends how big you are. 55 degrees. Angle finder. Magnetic. Whatever it takes to hold this. This rim's bent, so you can't go by that. That looks pretty cool. It's just what I had that was aired up. I did measure with my ruler. Whatever it takes. I gotta spot raise this one back there. Then I'll double check it with the ruler. A music montage, wherever that would Back to work. This isn't playtime. Sorry, y'all can't enjoy the rest of the song. Some of my better brazing. Not bragging, because it flows down in a valley. So it's easy.
It's just flowing in a little trough. Then I'll do the inside next. Because it flows in a valley, it's a lot easier. There you go. Whatever it takes. That's how narrow the wheel was. It's just a common 20 inch wheel, so they're mostly common. Those can be spread a little bit for a different wheel. They can be squeezed in when you're done. Sorry about that. I'm going to tell a macro. This is the finished product. I could have put these and centered them out here and squeezed the forks together. I didn't want that. I wanted the forks as white as they could be. Because on the other one, it, it was kind of centered. I have a video that's more detailed of how I built this, but it's about 20 minutes long. If I get more comments and more interest, I'll post it sometime. It's more detailed in how the frame is done, but it doesn't include the forks. You might make a note of that in the description. This one includes how I made the forks. My favorite music. I grew up with it. So it kind of takes me back in time. I can forget about the world and build what I couldn't afford to build when I was a kid. Maybe the bikes will come back like they used to be. Old school. That's it. Thanks for watching.